name is Brian and today I'm going to be doing a video where I replace an Intermatic timer with a GE indoor outdoor 40 amp smart switch which is this and I'll bring it close so the camera can see it and it is yeah I don't know what part number it is but it'll handle 230 volts or 120 volts and it is Zigbee enabled so it plays nice with Wink which means I'm going to get rid of this nasty Intermatic timer and replace it with a timer that works with my Wink that can support a whole lot more sophisticated and reliable programming. So, first things first, I need to turn the power off because you never want to work on electricity live. It's a great way to get shocked. So, so I've cut the power off and the next thing I need to do is get, well, I guess first let's, let's start with unpacking. Let's see what's in the box. So we got some cardboard. We got more cardboard. It's pretty well packed. And then we've got a little box with an easier to use clasp, an antenna, some instructions, a bunch of contacts. This is going to work fantastic. And that's actually a button to turn it on and off. And it has two modes. I'm not sure what they do yet, but I'll figure that out very shortly. And this is just a fantastic way to do a timer like this because it's never gonna lose time. It's never gonna drift. The little clasps aren't gonna spin and um, it's gonna support a whole lot more complicated programming like coming on for an hour every four hours. So I get my six hours a day, but my pool gets chlorinated quite regularly as opposed to twice a day. So first things first, I'm gonna put the antenna on because this looks like something that's really easy to lose. And all this is is a wire that sticks out for an antenna and this is just a little rubber ducky to go over it and keep it pointed up. Easy enough. And you gotta watch this piece right here because it, it pinched my finger. Um, so just watch that. And it comes with some really tiny little screws. Uh, let me see what the mounting looks like on the inside. Yeah, we're not gonna use those. We're, we're gonna use the existing bolts. So I'm going to start by removing the old box. I'm going to do this carefully because there are people who actually need these and I'm going to sell these things. Here that need to come off and the easiest way to deal with these is a hammer. Still got one wire not to get rid of. And there's one screw back there, which is why it feels like it's still stuck. So 
I've got my holes drilled. Now let me feed my wires in and see if this is going to work just as nicely as the last box. Wow, it's a dead ringer. It Next, we want to bring the pump wiring up. And we've got a cutoff switch, which is just, you know, it's not necessary with this new um, control, but I'm going to go ahead and keep it because it gives me um, just an extra peace of mind. It's very easy for someone to cut the pump off with that switch. And I'm actually going to add one to the pool cleaner because there's just times when I, that's what I want to do and I don't want to open this to mess with it. I'm going to lock my Okay, so there's my ground, and I'll patch the ground in for the other, the other switch here um, when I install it tomorrow. I need a different connector for it. And now I need to look at the wiring diagram because it's not, it's, it's really just not self-explanatory how this works. Line one and two go into number one and number two. And they're going to need to be trimmed rather dramatically. Okay, so it's off. That turns it on. And that puts it on Zigbee control. And that's the manual on off. So, let's uh, hook it up to Wink and see what happens. We're going to try plug-in smart switch with GE.
So um, this appears as just a GE um, smart switch to the system. And there you go. So now I have wireless control of my pool pump. First things first, I'm going to install my connector between the two boxes. Okay, so I'm working this a little bit backwards because I'm in tight quarters and I, I need everything to line up. And it looks like it's going to line up perfectly. So that's in. Now I can Looks like I can just insert my my screws. Which would be great. So if you got a newer Intermatic timer, it'll just fit. And if you have an older one, you're going to have to re-drill it. That's interesting. And I've got one more set of wires to bring in. So I'm going to open the Wink app and I'm going to go to Add to Wink and I'm going to tell it that I am adding lighting and then I'm going to go to Outlets and I'm going to choose the GE plug-in smart switch and I'll just follow the steps in the interface. Got to put it in. Um, the switch has manually on, off, and re Zigbee or remote control. So it went ahead and added as soon as I put it in remote control. So I'm going to call it booster pump. And then I've got to deal with the annoying little cartoon. Wink likes to tell you over and over and over again about how wonderful it is to add something. And then I'm going to change the icon for it. And Wink hasn't realized that you can control a pool, so the closest I can get is a picture of a sink. Oh, what the hell would you remote control on a sink? At any rate... There you go. I can turn them both on and turn them both off. So thanks for watching my video. Um, these were $163 a piece on Amazon.com. It's a GE 230 volt smart switch that is Zigbee enabled. And uh, one of my next projects is to replace this one and a half horsepower pump with a three quarter horsepower pump. I um, thought about buying an Intelli pump, but what's the point of buying a one and a half horsepower pump and then using a computer to slow it down? Why not just buy the smaller pump? 
So I did the calculations and a three quarter horsepower pump will use half the electricity and still pump the same amount of water. Thanks for watching my video and I hope you've enjoyed this.